Hi, welcome to my another video about tools. Uh, what do you think is the most selling multimeter on Aliexpress? Well, I figured it out. I searched multimeter and let it sort by orders. The most selling is this B-Side S11 multimeter. Over 12,000 people have bought it. In the listing there is more variants, but these were awful, so I ordered the S11 for approximately 33 US dollars. Uh, multimeter is sent in such nice colorful box, but with no useful info written on the box. Uh, if we open the quite beautiful box, we've got a menu that is Chinese and I believe also English. Uh, the menu covers just basic things and how to measure what. Uh, it also has accuracies in it. Uh, for the CV it should have 0.5% accuracy, while in reality I tested that and the worst error was 0.43%, so it may meet the accuracy rating, but not that surely. Uh, input resistance is 11 mega ohms. Uh, continuity test gives 0.6 volts at short circuit current of 0.15 mA. Uh, while diode test gives uh, 3.26 volts at 1.1 milliamp. Uh, this case it comes in is sturdy and beautiful, great textile. I like it. I like this case. And it's hard. The packaging includes a USB C cable. Uh, yes, this multimeter is recharged from USB-C, but where is it? Where is the Type-C connector? Well, you have to take the multimeter out of its rubber case uh, to find the Type-C connector. Moreover, when you begin charging, the multimeter turns off and can't be turned on. Pretty bad solution, because you have to wait for the battery to charge in order to work with it. It wouldn't be such a problem if the multimeter had remaining capacity indicator, but it hasn't. Uh, if it took uh, both Luke and USB from mobile phones, why not battery percentage? So one doesn't know when low battery warning will begin. And even with that engaged, you never know when exactly will the multimeter die. At least integrated lithium polymer battery has 800 milliamp hour. So it is not one of the damned 9 volt blocks. What's really bad is fact that uh, one can't use the multimeter and charge it at the same time as it turns off. Uh, control buttons are on the left side. We will see them better if we take it out of its rubber protective case. Control buttons are on the left side and the uh, controls are overall badly designed. Top fans button serves for all functions switching, excluding three. Uh, let's turn it on. The fans button switches between DCV, ACV, diodes, NCV, live and hertzometer. Uh, then switches back to automatic. If you need continuity test, capacitor test or ohms measurement, you need to press not this funks button but this capacitor button. And it's capacitors, ohms and beeping. And then you can switch to for example DC volts. Now you, you have measured your voltage and you want to beep something. You can't. You can't even from AC volts, even from diode test. You can't go to continuity test. You need to go back to automatic mode to be able to switch to capacitors, then ohms and then finally our continuity test. <laughs> Who the hell invented this? And moreover, you can't even long press to return back. No, you are still here. You can't long press to return. <laughs> so, you have to keep switching, switching like this until you are in the automatic mode to use another function. 
the third button is for light, but there is long press. A short press is for hold. I don't know how do you hold automatic. Anyway, uh, power button, long press for auto power off, off, or auto power off on, and short press for on off, just off was, uh, on is longer. Uh, the leads that come with this multimeter are special. Well, whoever designed the multimeter has never, never worked with one. That's for sure. You think uh, that's because of controls? <laughs> well, I will give you one another reason. Leads. Well, imagine you hold them like this in your hands. Uh, which is which? Which is plus and which is minus? You never know. Until you look at the cables. Aha! That is such a stupid idea, don't you think? To make test probes black and red or red and black. One would say, just buy new leads and you are okay. Well, I would buy new leads for multimeter anyway, cause I prefer sharp needle tips, but I can't. Once you grab the other ends, you figure out why. Uh, yes, this is not standard 4mm banana, but unusual 2mm banana. The connector that used to be seen until maybe 1990s, but since then very unusual. So good luck changing these awful probes. The best solution would be to cut them in two and solder the plug to better leads. Ugly mod. Moreover, as they are 2mm holes, uh, they practically hold in the multimeter by insulation. There is shitty electric contacts and it has just this rubber feel when you insert them and this is not fully inserted. You have to press them into the multimeter to actually make good contact. <laughs> Let's move to practice. Uh, in automatic mode, the multimeter is so slow that even beeping or continuity test is absolutely unusable. <laughs> if we, however, switch to continuity manually, uh, the response is really good. Near perfect. Voltage measurement is again so damn slow, which is rich. No, it's like this. <laughs> it's so damn slow. <laughs> uh, if we switch to DC voltage manually, then it's quite acceptable. And CV detection is the best domain of this multimeter, as it offers uh, 9 or 10 degrees, 9 degrees uh, of detected intensity for voltage proximity. Now I have 2 degrees, but uh, guess what, if I take the multimeter like, like 2 meters away uh, from nearest source, it keeps showing 2 bars. It's just two bars until you reset it. One bar, yes. It's two bars now, and... <laughs> ah, strange things happening. Now, uh, this is uh, UPS. Three bars, slow beep. Four, five, five is faster, beeping. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten bars, nine levels. Uh, this NCV detection is quite sensitive and its resolution is quite great if you ask me. But guess what? <laughs> My hand is live! <laughs> so, the final word, it 
Maybe best selling because it looks modern. Maybe it has some effects like this lightning and all these colorful things around the lightning and two. <laughs> <laughs> and two values. Uh, <laughs> most probably these uh, 12,000 pieces were bought by people who are absolute newbies into electronics and wanted to have uh, something they could be familiar with. Uh, this is normal human tendency to rather stick to to think we may know more. And this multimeter looks like a mobile phone. Maybe they wanted to play Minecraft on it, I don't know. Anyway, let's begin with the... <laughs> Screw this. Anyway, let's begin with the good aspects. At least it won't be that long. Uh, lithium polymer battery with type C charging port is great idea if your multimeter has higher power consumption, like EBTN displays or high precision ADCs. It would however be even better if the USB-C went through the rubber protection and if the multimeter could be charged during measurement, like from power bank. Also standard cylindrical cell like 18650 or 14500 would be better in long term since you can change it easily. Uh, the multimeter also has pretty quick beeping and <laughs> quite good and CV resolution, resolution, not good NCV, just the resolution. Uh, however, only if you manage to get the function uh, with these buttons that are uh, fluent transition uh, to bad or absolutely horrible aspects of this multimeter. The fucking idiotic controls. Who the hell invented that? Controls useless. And who could possibly say that it's good, let's produce it? Absolute psychopath who has worked on this multimeter made the controls useless and it will only grind your gears. In automatic mode, you can go either, once you get to it, you can go either through the ohm, diode and finally continue the testing. Or you can go to DCV and such. But then you can't go to beeping mode from DCV, only from automatic. <laughs> it can only be reached from automatic, uh, but uh, if you overlook it while switching, well good luck. We are back. Uh, it is easier to turn the multimeter off and on just to get to the continuity test. Believe me, it's easier. Uh, functions like relative, uh, range lock or maxmin are absolutely absent. Uh, Non-standard 2mm plugs render the multimeter not even prone to bad contact and to plugs self-disconnecting but also leaves you no choice but to use original leads. Speaking of them, uh, they were also designed by an idiot because you must look at the color of the cable to determine polarity. Uh, moreover, the multimeter doesn't measure current or temperature for obvious reasons. Uh, one would say it is then competitor for pocket multimeters. Well, with an exception that this multimeter is far from pocket. This is pocket multimeter and it even has milliamps. This is not pocket multimeter. <laughs> when the connectors finally give up, uh, you are left with practically mm, LiPo battery, cheap Type-C cable and quite beautiful case for smaller glasses. It's beautiful case. And uh, this set of case, uh, El Cheapo cable and small LiPo battery only costs you $33. This is the worst trade deal in history of trade deals, maybe ever. Uh, it almost looks like people tend to follow anything that may or may even not be good for them. They may be blinded by just not knowing anything about multimeters or just be ignorant and just follow masses, even if there is enough proof that this solution is bad quite common. Uh, if you happen to need to buy such a piece of junk, uh, like for someone you hate most, you can buy it via provided link in the description. That's all for this video, goodbye and see you in another video.